Hi everyone, this is HJ. Welcome back to Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. I promise you, I'm not dead. I've just been really busy. Last time we finished scene 13 in the Sable Lowlands, it went less than smooth. What I got for you today is some organized screen, followed by the uh, next mission. I know this one's coming real late for those of you who look forward to this when it comes out. Sorry about that. Shit happens like life in grad school and other fun things. So because of that, you're getting this a lot later than I planned on. I've had the episode recorded for a while, I just never got a chance to fix some of the errors that came up in it. And lo and behold, we're here now. So you'll notice a little audio and video desync again. I don't know what the hell's happening with my capture card, but rest assured I did my best to try and edit it to make it work. So if it's a little, little gimped, I apologize. It's just something we gotta work through together. So over the last month, I've learned some stuff that I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, number one, I'm really bad at time management. That's right, when you try and manage uh, working and going to grad school and thinking you can still have things like a social life or a life in general, I should say, it does not really work. It's like grades, fun, and working. Pick two, right? So, because of that, this had to suffer a little bit. I'll get more in detail about that a little bit later if you guys care, but right now we're going to head off to uh, the next scene, Scene 14, Thoughts in the Art of Air Heights. So uh, we'll give you some cutscene. Because that's why you're here. You're not here for me. You're here for the dramatic cutscenes. Art of Air Mining Facility. Let's hope I th sync this up properly. We succeeded. The attachment that was sent to Ottavera succeeded in liberating the mining facility. Well, that's good. Even with the Balmalkin's help, I didn't expect things to turn out this well. That should allow us to avoid battle with the Nerdemese troops. What's the status? They took over Castle Ziggeveld a few hours ago, and they immediately engaged our reinforcements from the Southern Division. The number of casualties is unknown. They should be here soon. Let's go through this quickly before they arrive. Alright, so this one's set up slightly different than what we're used to. I mean, obviously, we still capture Stronghold, of course, but for some reason, there's two neutral Strongholds on the bottom, because we uh, start at the Odvera Mines, so... I don't know, maybe it's because of the way I did this, the order-wise. We did it differently than you're supposed to, so this is supposed to be easier since those two strongholds are neutral, but... I don't know, they don't really, like, rush in on you as hard, so by having those two buffer strongholds there, you can just kind of sit for a little bit and kind of take your time, so... Can you leave the Nernemese to safety? The rest of us will stay and fight. Leave them to me. Now let's get moving. Easy enough. All right, so we head north and take Castle. Not not a big deal. Uh, we got the two neutral strongholds at the bottom, and of course HJ can't die. Not big surprise. So again, if you notice some audio video desyncs, I apologize. I did my best to try and resync it up, but for whatever reason, capture card not being good to me recently. So. If it's a little off again, sorry about that. So, I don't know if you all care about what happens in the real life and times of the HJ, but yeah, getting back to what I was saying, it's it's hard to manage, you know, life and fun and grad school and working and all this other stuff and attempting to get other fun things done in the background. So, that's kind of why I haven't been here in a little while. So, number one, I've learned that I'm not very good at time management. It's like, oh, well, you know, big database assignment is due in two weeks. Y'all should get started on it. I'm just like, nah, I've done database assignments before. That's not a big deal. I'm a master of Microsoft Access. I got this shit. Turns out I didn't have that shit at all. Start working on it a couple days before it was due. Lo and behold, eh, it didn't do as well as I thought. Okay, fine. Same thing happened again a second time when it came for the revisionist that assignment. But, uh, you know, I didn't do too bad. And then midterms rolled around and passed finally. I had my last one last Monday. And uh, overall did pretty well with that, so 
no real big issues there. I'm still doing my best, so if this has to take another back seat towards the end of the month again, I apologize, but unfortunately real life kind of has to take the priority. Don't worry, I'm still here. I still want to do this. I still love you guys, but priorities. So enough about me. Let's talk about other stuff that isn't related to Ogre Battle because there's nothing happening yet. We're sitting on the two strongholds there and we're getting marched from the north. Big deal. And we defend a little bit and head north a little bit. So again, probably a little desync. So today is November 7th, 2011. It's about 10.51 p.m. And uh, at midnight, Modern Warfare 3 gets released to most of the general public. Ooh, big deal. I don't know if anyone cares about FPS. Probably not. Um, I'm not at a midnight release because, number one, I ordered my copy on Amazon. Number two, I have class at 8 tomorrow morning. And number three, I don't want to deal with a bunch of 14-year-old whiny kids slash beefy musclehead cod fanboys for like two hours. My buddy Father Corisante is at one now. He's 174th in line. I didn't feel like waiting in line. I used the credit they gave me for Battlefield 3 and used it towards Modern Warfare 3. So, good for me. I don't have to be there. I don't get it at midnight. Big deal. Don't care. In the free time that I have had, I've played some Battlefield 3, and I gotta say, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely more realistic than Call of Duty, but this isn't a debate for uh, for that. We can, we can hash up about the realism of war games some other time, or perhaps in a commentary over a war game. But this is not a war game. This is Ogre Battle. So if I decide to do a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary, a Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary, or maybe a combination of the two, we can save that for that. But this isn't the place for that. So focusing back at an Ogre Battle, sorry I didn't focus in on it for the first seven minutes, but some stuff kind of came up. I want to know where you guys want me to go with this. I realize you want me to complete it. You know, that's fine. I do have hopes of eventually completing this one day, it's just, real life kind of sucks. So, I mean, do you, are you aiming for like a quick completion so you can see me finish it? Or are you aiming for a more thorough completion so you can see more stuff? I have gotten requests saying, oh, well, you know, you didn't take care of X, can you explain it? Or, you know, talk about secret characters, or talk about this, or, you know, do you expect me to try and get all the Pedras, or look for all the classes, or just focus on kicking ass, because I'm really good at that, at least I like to tell myself I am. I'm really not. So, let me know where you want in that. I mean, I'd like to show you some of the cool classes, like I want to get a Lich real soon, and perhaps go for an Angel Knight, or something like that. I mean, that's part of the fun of this game, the fact that it's not completely linear. There's a couple of side paths you can take, and I try and do all the missions I can show you, and... You know, you can fight it in a couple different styles. You can go pure melee or pure magic or whatever else. So, if you're saying, hey, H.A., I'd like to see you try an X, well, then I'll do my best to try and get it done. It just, I realize that a lot of you probably have a lot more knowledge than me on the subject, too. So, don't be afraid to give me a nudge in the guiding direction if you think I'm being retarded. That's, that's good, too. So, I didn't really uh, skip any of the battles at the beginning. Because I was too worried about the audio video desync, but after this episode ends, the video seems to be pretty much on par for the rest of it. So, for parts two and three, you'll get the corrected audio and video without my editing sped up faster. So, you'll still get the same three parts, but for some reason, I kind of had to leave it unabridged this time, except for the beginning, and it still wasn't synced up right. So, little skips, little glitches, cause for a longer video for the first time through. So. Sorry if it's a little long, but that's what he said. Heyo. So yeah, you know, I, I plan on getting most of the uh, the fun stuff to show you guys, and I think that's what a Let's Play is all about. Like, hey, this is some cool stuff you can do. You know, don't be afraid to try things your own way, but this is how I'm doing it. And I think that uh, I can have fun trying it, at least. I mean, for those of you who still watch these, like... I've came a long way since the beginning, I can tell you that. This isn't just a little fun project I do on Saturdays anymore. Well, it's kind of turned into that now, but we'll pretend it didn't. It's like a an evolving state of this is what's been happening for the last two years. 
and I, I can't believe it's been two years, too. My first video was uploaded in 2009, roughly around this time. I can't give you the exact date offhand, but it's been about then, and I can honestly say I definitely thought I'd have a lot more done since then, but laziness and real life and more laziness mostly kind of gets in the way, so that's what happens. I don't know if I got to mention this in any of the other videos. I don't think I did, but YouTube has actually offered me the chance to uh, receive monetary whatever if they can stick ads on my videos, which is cool. But the problem with that is all of my videos show copyrighted content. Yeah. So, like Ogre Battle and stuff, I don't own that. That's owned by Atlas, right? So I may own a license to the game, but I don't own a license to show the game to try and make money. And if I don't get approval to do that, and I say, hey YouTube, let's make money off of my videos, they'll go, okay, we're going to look at all of the videos to make sure there's no copyright, and the ones that we do find copyright, we're going to take down. So I would lose all 90 videos, pretty much. I mean, I don't know about the Streets of Rage ones, but I know the Portal ones would come down. I know the Pokemon ones would come down. I know the Call of Duty ones would come down, <laughs> so... I don't know what to say about that. Do I risk the monetization? Probably not, because I'm not really popular, I guess. If I was, you know, like a big YouTube all-star, I would, like, try and figure something out. But for, like, the 50 of you that are still kicking in there, it's not going to make me penny, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'd rather just try and provide good content and not have to worry about being copyright approved, I guess. So, I did get the email for it, but it's not really worth it to me. So, we'll just worry about being entertaining. I think that's the, the primary goal. And if I seem a little out of it, it's because I'm a little tired this evening. It is like 11 at night. I didn't have class for 9 hours today, so... That's my little rant about that. YouTube trying to make money, and they're just going to go, Oh, well, nah, copyrights, bruh. Enjoy your uh, videos being taken down. And I don't have, like, the first 26 saved anymore after my hard drive crashed out on me, so... I wouldn't even be able to re-upload them on a different channel if shit did get taken down, so... That's another reason why, too, I don't have those backups saved. I should probably do that one day, rip all my shit from YouTube, and toss it onto our external just in case, but... You know, whatever. So, we're nicely storming along, storming north. We have managed to take the first enemy stronghold, and we're sending Nisha towards the second. No real big issues at the beginning here. And I think the reasoning behind that, again, is... Because of the way we choose, chose to do the missions. We did the one on the left side first, now we're going south before we go for the final one north, and because of that, find a magician's robe. Now, because of that, that's designed to be easier, I guess. You have some uh, distractionary tactics and some help from some other guys, so it makes it a little bit easier. So, that might seem why it's uh, going a little bit smoother than expected. And the advanced clerics really piss me off. You see the one in yellow there? They, uh, provide the super heals, and that's just upsetting. Yeah, the healing plus. So, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Sorry I've been gone forever. I'm not dead, I've just been busy. And I definitely plan on getting uh, some more stuff up by the end of November, even if it's just this mission entirety, I want to at least get it done by the end of November, so. Yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. I'm always looking for uh, stuff, and I say this a thousand times, but your opinion matters. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. And hopefully soon, we'll see you next time on HJ's sporadic Let's Play of Ogre Battle 64.